Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I want to talk about three items that I think are extremely interesting at the moment and that are good items to flip. So in the video I'm gonna go through the three items, explain why they are interesting and at what price you should invest in these items and also I will try to explain for instance if they are good on high pop, medium pop or low pop realms. So I already covered these three items in one of my recent video where I went through all the different best ways to make some gold at the moment in patch uh, 9.2. But I wanted to make this separate video because I think these items are extremely relevant at the moment and I really want to make sure that uh, you are all aware of all the good opportunities that are out there. So. I'm going to start with what is in my opinion the most interesting one and it's going to be the strange group. So the strange group is an item that you can fish in Zeret Mortis and basically when you have the item it increases your chances to get the mount from Irukon by 100%. So basically you're just buying the mount uh, when buying this item and so this is why a lot of people are ready to invest a lot of gold in order to get uh, the item. So this item uh, is extremely interesting because again this is linked to a mount and on many realms it's already uh, starting to be extremely cheap. So what I would encourage you to do is to purchase this item if you like see some very cheap auctions. So by cheap auctions, I mean, for instance, on full pop realms and high pop realms, anything below 80k to like 100k gold is going to be a good auction. And then on medium pop realms and low pop realms, most likely anything below like 100k or like 100 even and 50k gold is going to be a good deal. So one thing you need to take into account each time is really the specificities of your auction house. So for instance, sometimes a good deal can be a bad deal on another realm, even if the two realms are, for instance, low pop realms. So this is why I would recommend you to use, uh, for instance, the tool, the Undermine Journal to get this data and make sure that you're not taking too many risks. So with the Undermine Journal, you can really see quickly uh, what is the current medium price and then you can also see what are the cheapest auctions. So this is a really good way to hunt for very, very cheap auctions. For instance, at the moment, you can see on Ejial, it's very, very cheap. Uh, same on Kazakh. And then one thing that is interesting is to see, for instance, uh, throughout the days and the weeks, uh, if the prices was really low on your realm or not and if you see that the prices were good uh, like you know for like a couple of weeks then you can be sure that if you're investing for instance into an item at like 120k gold you will most likely be able to sell it back for a decent uh, profit because again the prices have remained pretty high throughout the different weeks. Also, one thing that is extremely important to keep in mind is that this item is going to remain relevant uh, after the end of this patch, after the end of this expansion. And so really this is only something that can uh, increase in terms of prices, uh, especially I'm thinking about the next expansion. Most likely there is not going to have a lot of people uh, spending a lot of time fishing for the item, but they're still going to have a lot of people willing to buy the item in order to get the mount, especially as people are not going to play a lot the Red Mortis anymore, and so they will just try to get the mount as quickly as possible. So I'm sure that these items are actually going to increase a lot, and so this is why I would recommend you to like just invest. Even if you're not planning on reselling them uh, right now, you can still try to get a couple and then I'm sure you will be able to sell them back for a really good uh, price later in the expansion or during the next expansion. So as you can see, for instance, on my low pop realm, I've been able to sell five of them already uh, for on average 200k gold with recently one sold for 330k gold. I'm buying all of these for on average like 70 to 80k gold on high pop realms and then when I'm doing character transfers I always take one because this is a very very easy way to uh, kind of refund the character transfers. 
So now if we go, for instance, on one of the medium populums where I'm also currently making gold, you can see that, for instance, I bought one of these strange group for 90k gold and sold it not even like one day after for uh, 237k gold. So this is like 150k gold pro profits just by buying and reselling the item. And even on a realm like uh, Kazakh, I've been able to, for instance, buy many of these. Uh, so for 67k gold on average, which is extremely cheap. And I already sold one of them for 120k gold. And right now I'm just waiting because I know that the prices are going to increase again. And again, in my opinion, there is no rush. Uh, I know I'll be able to sell them for uh, a way, way more interesting price in the coming weeks or in the coming month. And so, yeah, I'm just going to wait. And each time the prices will go up again, I'll try to sell some of them for twice uh, or maybe in some occasions, like three times the prices. So the second item is going to be the Varuts guillotine, this uh, 246 eye level weapon BOE that you can drop also from certain mobs in Zerat Mortis. I made a full video on how you can get this item. So this item is uh, currently very good, especially because with this eye level, this is the best uh, weapon you can buy on the auction house. And so for many people, this is a really good way to uh, start with a good eye level. This weapon is also extremely good because the appearance is unique and the appearance is very, very cool. So for that reason, I know that this weapon will remain relevant even after the end of the patch. Maybe for this one, the prices might go down a little bit simply because some people might also uh, farm this weapon even after the end of the patch. And it might become a little bit easier uh, to kill all these different mobs and to get the weapon. But I'm sure that even after the end of this uh, expansion, people will still purchase this item simply because this is a unique appearance and it looks really cool. And so for that reason, I think this is not a risky investment, at least not too risky. So as you can see, for instance, right now on my low pop realm, I've been able to like make a lot of profits. And right now I've with eight bought for 150k gold on average, I've been able to sell uh, most of them for 250k gold on average. So as you can see already a really good uh, benefit and I still have some uh, available on the auction house. Uh, so most likely I will be able to make probably like uh, a little bit more than a million in profits. So really for me, these items are extremely interesting. And in, when it comes to like at what time, at what price you should start investing in them, I would say that on hyper realms, anything below 100k gold for sure is going to be a good deal. Uh, and even anything below like 120k gold, could be interesting again it's very important to check the the auction house because for instance if there is like 20 of them uh, it's not going to be very easy to then reset it for a better price so there it might not be a good idea but again if there is one that is way way cheaper than the the rest of the auctions then i would recommend you buying buying it for low pop realms and medium pop realms i would say that anything uh, below 150k gold is going to be a good uh, good deal and definitely you will most likely be able to make a good benefit. So again, it's very important to use the Undermine Journal just to check, uh, for instance, what has been the prices so far and what is the current quantity. So if you're targeting one realm in particular, really please first check all this information uh, because otherwise you might lose some gold and this is not the goal uh, when you're flipping these type of items. But normally, uh, once you've seen that it's most likely going to be something interesting, you can then decide to invest in. And um, yeah, as you can see, really, with this tool, again, you can see easily uh, on which realms there is some really good deal. Uh, and then, like for instance here, as you can see on this one, uh, there is literally one for 20k gold, which is absolutely very, very cheap, but apparently it has already been uh, sold. And as you can see, like most of the time, it's at 340k gold. So 
really this type of uh, of uh, auctions are like gold mines and you should definitely jump on it um but yeah so for me this weapon is really a good deal at the moment and not something too risky so here for instance you can see that on this uh, medium pop realm i've been able to sell it uh, for 240k gold and i've bought it just like a few hours before 420k gold so it's an easy 120k gold benefit and again this is on the medium pop realm so really again an item that you won't have to like undercut too much and so this is also a good addition and yeah that's gonna be it for this uh, weapon so the third item i want to talk about is gonna be the cape that is a boe from the new raid and this cloak is really interesting so as you can see the sell rate is insane 2.56 and uh, really, this is an item that uh, is extremely interesting because, as you can see, there are different type of stats. And so all these different capes are a little bit unique. And again, this is something that a lot of people will uh, want because the, there is a really good eye level and this is a cape, so everyone can use it. So for me, I would say that right now, the 252 and the 265 are the most interesting ones uh, because they are usually like really, really cheap on the auction house. And so this is not too risky. The 278 can be interesting, but again, uh, it's always a little bit more risky because less people are going to be willing to invest, for instance, 500, 600k gold. And especially as we're at the end of the patch many people won't really want to like just spend a lot of gold on an item that will most likely uh, be useless in a few months after that but the ones that are at maybe like 200k gold or like 100k gold then people are a little bit more willing to spend uh, you know this amount because it's not too excessive so here for instance for the 252 um I would say personally that anything uh, or below like 40k gold, at least on medium and low pop realms, is going to be interesting. For high pop realms, this one is going to be a little bit tricky because there's probably just going to have always a lot and people are always going to undercut you. So I would say that the 252 might not be the best uh, item to really like flip. So in my opinion, really, if you have anything below 40k gold, almost uh, medium and uh, low pop, you can make normally some good amount of gold. As you can see here, for instance, I bought most of them for 30k gold. And really, on average, I'm selling them for at least 70k gold. Uh, I just sold some of this, one of them for 90k gold. So again, something that is like just so easy because you just buy the item and then you make a bunch of gold when it comes to the one that is at 265 uh, for this one i would say that on medium and low pop realms anything below 140 150k gold is going to be interesting um, for this one high pop realms are also going to be a little bit risky because there are just so many people selling the item that it's going to be very tricky for you to be able to sell it um, but maybe sometimes you can still find some pretty interesting auctions so i would say that anything below 100k gold is probably going to be a good deal but again keep in mind that you will most likely uh, have to fight a little bit at the auction house and uh, just to spend some time selling it so as you can see me for instance i've been able to like sell some of them for up to 285k gold and then on average i'm selling them for 155k gold and yes these are some items that are extremely relevant at the moment and that you know are selling pretty fast so as you can see i bought like most of these for a very very cheap price and now selling them for 90k gold and they do sell so when it comes to like, are they going to be relevant after the end of the patch? Unfortunately, I don't think they will be as relevant as, for instance, the strange group and uh, the the weapon. But they're still maybe going to sell because this is still like, a, you know, like a good transmog. Even if I'm 
pretty sure you can normally get this uh, like skin from other sources. So unfortunately, this is not going to be a unique uh, transmog. But yeah, so this is something that you should try to do during this patch and try to not have too many remaining after the end of the patch because otherwise you might not be able to uh, sell them or at least to sell them for a benefit. So these are the three main items I really wanted to mention. I would recommend you to do it. Again, keep in mind that this is like always risky to invest. So if you don't feel like you uh, have you know enough like knowledge or if you're not sure you will be able to really refund the cost of the item then don't do it it's really only for you know the people who just enjoy this type of uh, you know little investment and uh, this adrenaline boost uh, but again this is not for everyone and so this is completely fine if you don't find that uh, really <laughs> interesting and if you don't want to try it so that's going to be it for today's video. Um, I hope it will help you make a lot of gold. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you've tried to like flip some of these items and if you were successful or not. So I will be back very soon with more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you the best of luck and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.